Okay, so last night I went to see Will Joseph Cook live and I woke up this morning having lost my voice. So, sorry if I'm sounding a bit off. It was a really good night and I'm really glad that I ended up going because I was feeling a bit off beforehand and wasn't gonna go, but I forced myself and had a great time. Today's been quite a lazy day and I feel like we all need that day every now and again, especially during revision time where we can just do nothing all day. So I've been watching YouTube literally all day. I went out for a bit this morning, but other than that, I've been watching YouTube all day and I thought I'd just go through who I watch on YouTube, some of my favorites. So first I'll go through the gaming related channels. I don't really watch that many anymore. I used to like binge watch gaming channels as any teenage guy does, but now, I pretty much only watch Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth along with that and anyone related to Rooster Teeth. They are by far my favourite YouTube channel and it's a, just a small obsession. I've been watching them for seven years at least and I've, since then I've probably watched about 80% of their content which is madness to think about. They've probably helped I mean, I was 11 when I started watching them. They've probably helped like shape who I am. And that is a weird thought. I could reference videos from seven years ago. That's like how much I remember them. And it is insane. And I don't really want to think about how much time it altogether I've spent watching their videos. It's quite terrifying, but every second of it has been amazing. I love them so much. Another classic one which I used to watch and still do is The Syndicate Project, who is a really classic YouTube gaming YouTuber who doesn't really make gaming videos anymore, really quite rare, but he does daily vlogs instead and I watch them now. So that brings us on to vloggers. There's the classics like Casey Neistat, obviously, uh, Becky and Chris, who are probably my favourite YouTube channel at the moment. I absolutely adore their aesthetic and I'm in love. Bradley Friesen? 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 I don't really know. Some Canadian thing. But he does helicopter videos where he takes up his help. He flies a helicopter around Canada and it's cool to see like all the lakes and stuff, all the hidden places which. You're probably gonna hear quite a lot of traffic where you are now. You're right by the window. Oops, that was, probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but oh well. Nicole Leddy for travel vlogs and stuff like that. And Sarah Dietschy as well. She's a really cool vlogger that does Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos, I think. But yeah, she's really cool. Then there's the classic vloggers like Dodie Clark, Doddloddle, slash Doddle Vloggle, uh, Chewing Sand, Evan Edinger, Grace Helbig, Lucy Moon, that, that kind of like, I, I never know how to describe them because the word vlogging has like changed so much, but that's kind of what they are. But yeah, I never know how, quite how to describe them. They're all so different. It's like, you can't really group them together, but I have. Tom L.J. White as well, he's really good for music, he goes in depth into music genres. Good way of discovering like really indie music. I've got quite a lot of channels which I guess you would classify as educational. There's Brave Wilderness for Animals, CGP Grey, Grant Thompson, the King of Random. How to Make Everything is a really good one, he tries to make really quite simple stuff like glasses and chocolate and coffee from scratch, so for example for the glasses one, he got sand, he collected all the materials that he needed and blew the glass, shaped the lenses and then chopped down a tree to make the wooden frames. It's really fascinating to be honest. Then there's Lessons from the Screenplay, Nerdwriter and Rocket Jump Film School that are like quite educational for films and screenplay stuff. The Art of Photography and Negative Feedback for photography stuff because I'm a complete noob when it comes to photography. I want to have something to reference when 
I'm wanting to know something. Nailed it. Tom Scott, Steve Mould, and Veritasium for random stuff. Also, Vsauce for just random why would you not want to know that videos. Slow mo guys for slow mo stuff, obviously. And then Simon Clark is a vlogger who is currently in his last year of his PhD, so does a series of vlogs on the life as a PhD student. They're really, really cool. Style and fashion wise, there's Alpha M, a beard brand for beard stuff, um, Blue Man for hair product reviews, James Welsh for skincare, Gents Lounge for more fashion stuff, The Gentleman's Cove for fashion stuff, Robin James for hair, skincare, all that stuff, yeah. And then I've just got a bunch of really random channels that I have no idea what category they'd go in, but I'll just go through them. There's Will Any and Memeless for when you just want to have a good laugh at, at just a stupid video. Linus Tech Tips for PC gaming stuff. I built my own computer, so I'm really interested in all that stuff. Demolition Ranch for gun shooting stuff, information on different guns and just really random shooting videos. Geico Whatever and Inspire to Make are two really cool DIY channels and with really good aesthetics. Good Mythical Morning because you can't be on YouTube without watching Rhett and Link. Again, another YouTube channel which you can't be on YouTube without watching, Philip DeFranco, who is just amazing for news, tries to stay like neutral, obviously no one is neutral but he's a good perspective. Sargon of Akkad for well-researched views on politics. Steven Crowder for random commentary on politics. Sorted Food for recipes, because I can't cook to save my life. Scam School for cool little bar tricks. And along with that, the modern rogue as well, that do just quite random videos, but really cool. And Unbox Therapy as well, because again, quite a standard YouTube channel. So yeah. There's a little insight into who I like wasting time watching on YouTube. Obviously there's others, but they're ones that upload on a semi-regular basis that I watch pretty much religiously, and they're just my favourites, so... Yeah, I hope that was a fun little video. I, don't know, I have no idea where it came from, to be honest, but... And I will see you...